hey guys. Today I'll be playing What Remains of Edith Finch. This game was released, I think, in 2018, I believe. It did really well, and it looks like a really good game. So I've always wanted to play it. It was $20 on Steam. Um, but it looks like it's worth it. So let's go. Okay. Edith Finch. Who would have thought? Oh, let's see. Okay. Oh. Well, this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. We turn the page. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Okay. Oh, okay. We're at the house. Okay. We walk very slow. Hmm. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Okay. Can we walk faster or no? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, look at that. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Okay. Well, I guess we're not taking them. So, I urgent or not? This is my brother Lewis's funeral. Okay. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe hmm. she thought I'd know. Or Kay. she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Okay. Oh, wow. We're, like, uh, in the forest. Okay. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Hmm. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. That voice actor sounds very familiar. I think I've heard her in another game. I'm not positive. Might have to look that up. Oh, wow. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. What a weird looking house. Cool, though. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Okay. Now, as a 17 year old, I knew what exactly those words were. I was afraid of the house. I'm excited about this game, guys. Oh, wow. A ramp. It's handicapped accessible. Perfect. And I can make jokes like that. I'm in a wheelchair, so it's okay. It's okay, I hope guys. He might unlock the front door. It didn't. Oh, well that's slightly annoying. Okay, um these controls are a little weird. I'm, oh, here we go. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. So the key did not open the door. Interesting. Is there a back door, perhaps? We'll go find out. Or a garage door, maybe? Well, perhaps this. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna climb in through the cat door, um, okay. The doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Dog door. Sorry, I'm a cat person. The power had been turned off the night we left. Okay. Still off then.
For the first time in years. I felt like I was home. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Cool. I like how they do the writing, like, on the walls like and how stuff. after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all cool. got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Yeah. Cats never get tired of salmon. You know. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Hmm. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile, too many teeth. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Wow. Let me just say the graphics are really good. I Mom love always it. told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Oh, mm. okay. Great-Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we can open up the front door. Well, I guess we're not going to. Oh, newspaper? Missing. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Oh. So their brother disappeared, maybe? A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Will the key work for this one? Oh, there isn't a keyhole, I don't think. Oh, but there's... yeah? I don't know. Let's keep going go upstairs. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Hmm. My Grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. So it seems like all the doors are locked, locked up. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Yeah, that's not normal. Barbara. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. Okay. Oh, we can go up further, okay. Mom must have locked their four stairs on the night we left. Damn. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Yeah, I'm curious, too. Who is she? Oh, this door's I open. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Sharks? Cool. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Oh, the key worked. Okay. <laughs> 20,000 leagues under the sea. Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Oh, it's not just a book. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But 
I had no idea what was behind that door. <laughs> Like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. An owl? Hmm, okay. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Aww. Oh. Aww. Oh. Is that it dead? That's just... No. Oh, good. No, I don't think that is. I was a little worried. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Ew. Don't eat that. Oh. I ate a lot of things that night. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Suddenly, oh, what I happened? Was a cat. Uh, okay, we're a, we're a kitty. Cute. Well, where are we going? Oh, okay. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Oh, it's over there now. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Hmm. This is really weird. I have a feeling she was dreaming. Unless she really turned into a cat. I jumped and I almost got her. Kitty's getting pissed. I could tell she was getting really tired. up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. No. Okay, where did the bird go? Where are we going? Oh, the bird's up for there. Okay. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass.
Wow. I wasn't expecting any of this. This is cool. Rabbits. An owl would chew. Something bigger. Uh oh. Hopefully not a cat. <laughs> a mama rabbit. Okay, where? Oh. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. This is kind of depressing. Suddenly, yeah. I was a shark. Oh, a shark in a tree. Okay. How do we move? Do we just have to hop? Oh no. And into the ocean. Now I was hungrier than ever. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Did it taste really good? Seal flipper. Yum. Just ate someone. Eh, it's fair game, man. Like, we can eat rabbits and owls and birds. We need people. Okay. <laughs> A snake opening the door. That's horrifying. Uh oh, we're gonna eat a drunk dude.
Okay, where are we going now? see what we're doing. Yeah. We're gonna eat the captain. Oh, I see where we're going. Right in through that crack. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelt a new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. Okay. Slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Oh, we just came out the toilet. <laughs> All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Oh my. Wow, that was weird. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Okay. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Okay. I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Okay. okay, are we ready to go? No. Oh, maybe we should look out the window? Yeah. There's the cat. <clears throat> this will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Hmm. Oops. These controls are a little weird. I gotta just try to figure them out. It's basically I spent just a lot of time in Great out. Grandma Edie's room. Oh, so Edie is Great Grandma. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. <laughs> I'm down for that. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. 
for a few weeks. She was a celebrity. Hmm. 72-year-old woman refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire. Nice. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Of course not. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. <laughs> Look at that carpet. Holy crap. Wow. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife, Kay, left on the house was the pink bathroom. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't go It over. was a pretty big trace. Very. Oh, the key opens multiple things. There's a secret in this bathroom. Okay. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. <laughs> wow. I wish I had all these, like, secret rooms. I mean, it would just be kind of cool to have, you know what I mean? Sven gave Sam Big house with secret rooms. Refurbished. He never put it down. Okay. Fort Calvin. Okay. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I want to remember my brother. By Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, he swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Um, Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Oh God. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Ooh. Then maybe he'd still be here. Oh no. I, doubt. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Oh no! Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Yeah, most kids probably try. They just don't succeed. Thankfully. <clears throat> okay, so I think we're done in here. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room.
Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Another secret path. Holy crap. This is one the intricate were house. pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Oh, so we're back to where we were, I think. Okay. Where did we come in from? Oh, down here. Can we go back? Okay, good. Barbara as a child star. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another guest. Inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Sounds like the tales from the Crypt Guy. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just a boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. Scream queen. <laughs> Getting okay. better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration. But I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... Orcas Island? That came from the basement. Hmm. You're right. Also, I've been there. I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? I used to live there. A long, long... Time ago, when I was like a baby. The secret is to keep winding and winding... Until finally, the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. Twenty minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. <laughs> His voice. She reached for the music box. Okay. And then she wound the key. She listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Oh, a key. Okay. Oh, that music. She found Rick's scratch and imagined the worst. Halloween, man. 
Hope this isn't copywritten. I'm gonna talk over it, so. Hopefully we're okay. There's that buzzsaw. Okay, so... What are we doing? Oh, blood. Okay, are we going upstairs? Huh, that door is locked. Okay, I guess we weren't supposed to go back up. I looped. Wait, is that another door? No. Uh. crap out of this. There somewhere. Described a man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Oh no. Saw the hook man and was speechless. He was quite smashing. Still no scream. Come on, Barbara. Wow, oh, she's tough. Other way out. Oh, the window. Or this, whatever this is. She played her part beautifully. Okay, we're in Molly's room. I'm gonna go out the window. She's not out of the window. I just couldn't do it. Okay. So she's gonna have to go back and fight. Uh. 
Of course, because when the bad guy ever falls off a balcony and you go down, by the time you get down, he's gone. Always. Watch, he's gonna be gone. Told you. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. Uh oh, someone at the door. At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. No, no. Oh, there's more than one? Oh dear. I like how she never screams. But she never screamed. She saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. <laughs> and with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave a performance of yes. life. I was waiting. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Smooth girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. They took it all. No help. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her... Nice. I call a real eerie tale. Haha, eerie. Wow, that was amazing. This game is amazing. I love this shit. That was clearly Edie told me all Barbara Tales from the Crypt. As absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Okay. All right, well, that was fascinating. Um, where are we going now? Happy birthday. Is that pizza? I had a birthday pizza. Just a few days ago. One day ago. Okay. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Okay, so, oh, are we gonna go this way? Like, we've pretty much been everywhere, I think. So what now? Downstairs again? Music box. Okay. It's kind of hard winding your mouse up. There's that key. Okay. Oh man, you don't know how much I love that this game has voice acting. And we don't have to read pages and pages of notes. It's fine. But it gets tiring after a while. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm outdated on my tetanus shot. So my plan is to just not get stabbed by rust. Rusty metal. I saw metal. Edie sneak down to the basement once. Carrying packages. Okay. I thought 
thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. No. Oh. Well, now I'm in trade. So, so far, it seems like most of these characters that we... I remember asking Mom once about where Walter had gone. ...been examining have died. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's a pattern in all these stories... I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Tim. So Walter is dead Goodbye, too. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I I've been down here for thirty years. What? On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. So. Was he just in the basement? Having a schedule. Living for today. Ew. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. True. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. What are those? And then one day, everything just stopped. Okay, these are peaches, I think. Maybe Whatever that's what that they are. It was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. Okay, so they're peaches. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. Yeah, 30 years is a long time to wait. Can. out there somewhere whatever killed Barbara and Molly and Calvin maybe this is all a mistake but I need to stop living the same day even if it kills me Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one more day. You can already imagine the sun on my face. Oh no! Wow. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Wow. Okay. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Maybe. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house... 
Yeah. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. That is worrying. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Oh, we're gonna go out. Something that's still alive. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. We're gonna stay off the track so we don't get run over. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Okay. So they believe there's a curse on the family and that's why everyone just seems to die from tragic events. I don't know if I should even be writing this. This game is beautiful. I love how it looks. I mean, it's a Maybe huge upgrade from what I normally play. I need to quit. But I thought you should know about your family. Okay. And the history you're a part of. Wow. This is so cool. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little lost. I think the people in these stories believe them. For what that's worth. of imagination and stubbornness and madness any of it seems possible I think we've been surrounded by death for so long we've just gotten used to it What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? True. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Wow, all the pets. Three of the gerbils are mine. Derpy. Two had been my fault. Zerpy, Lurpy, Furpy, Chirpy, Burpy, Derpy, Derpy Jr., um, Lucy, Daisy, Charlie, Tucker, Coco, Zoe, and some unnamed ones because they were probably expecting more. Bailey, probably a dog. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Molly Finch. Wow, so Molly was only 10 when she died? Holy crap. Calvin was 11? Edie? Wow, Edie was old. Okay. Barbara Finch. So I wonder if there's a stone out here waiting for us. That's a scary thought. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Hmm. What is that? 
Edie said she oh. dreamed about the old house every night. <clears throat> Okay, so time to go back, I guess. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. But looking back on it now, If she told me there was going to be so much priming, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks <laughs> pregnant. 22 weeks pregnant? Oh no. Yeah, oh, this is a little dangerous, don't you think? Uh, what are we do? <laughs> what are we doing? Um, okay. Are we gonna climb up this? No. Are we gonna go down on this side? Okay. Let's go back up. Oh, there's a ladder. It just wasn't. It just wasn't running into it right. <laughs> I thought I saw a ladder. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Yeah, being cursed, apparently. Oops. Oh my god. They were both pretty intense. Dawn, I promise, you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are gonna last a lifetime. Mm-hmm. What? Am I gonna have to- Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Please just take the damn picture. Hey, language. Yeah, language. Do you wanna get a picture of me, or what? Oh, we're gonna get up her. I was wondering what we were doing. Okay, where is she? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. Oh, there she That's is. Spirit. Smiled on. Okay, got it. Perfect. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. It's still freezing, though. Hello, bird. Aww. 
Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. Still hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, great. Paper. He's peeing. Black night, peeing outside. I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Dad. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Okay. Alright. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. Dad! Good eyes, Don. Cool. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Okay, what are we doing? Dad. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Oh no, we're hunting. Great shot, Don! <laughs> oh, that poor deer. <laughs> now she's gonna cry. Look what you did. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Oh, we're controlling him now. Okay. Yeah, but you shouldn't make somebody do something like that. Come on. I mean, I get it. Sorry, Don. Just gotta reset the timer. <laughs> I'm not triggered. But she's not really happy about it. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, here we go. Oh. Dad, it, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Doc. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about. Dad. Oh. Oh no. And pictured on camera. Was that nature, like, getting karma? Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Okay. Intriguing. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. <laughs> Are we a baby now? Wow, this is weird. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. <laughs> ah, the frog. We're the frog now. All right. Over Gregory, it's time to hold on to me. Oh, I really hope we're not gonna drown or something insane. There's that Sam, frog. I
Got out. Lost in his imagination. <laughs> oh, this is weird, just hopping around as a frog. Trying to get down. Nope. <laughs> so weird. I actually have no idea what I'm doing now. Oh, we gotta go up there. I see. Alright, so we have to jump on the whale, I think, and bounce up. That's possible. Maybe if I hadn't caught that night. No, oh, did he drown? Are we serious? game is boggling my mind. It is so weird. I wish you could have told me. Oh no. About the world we saw. That's why you never leave in a kid a kid in a bathtub. Oh, Gregory. Alone. Not everything. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. This whole game is sad so far. <clears throat> like always, I didn't really read the description because I want to be surprised. Wow, one year old, that's sad. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet... A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Hmm. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard. Oh, now we're flying a kite. My brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard.
father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Ellen. <clears throat> I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met me, we don't need a stepmom or the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Make him cry. came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> the wind picked up, and panic geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Wow. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. Okay, where are we going? Oh, wow. Oh no. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Until we found you. Hmm. She never talked about him, but. Mom told me once, if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. <laughs> wow, so Gus was young, too. Pretty young. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. I hope by the end of this game we don't die. <laughs> because of the curse. That would be really depressing. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Okay, her dad. Sanjay. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Okay. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later.
When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. So basically we're unlocking all the rooms in the house <laughs> through alternative ways. Interesting. Last. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday when Edie gave him a castle. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. So Milton's the one that just disappeared. Hmm. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Milton had found in the house. Mom didn't want it getting out. Oops. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have gone that way. Um, okay. I kind of wish we could run, but I see why we can't. <clears throat> because the story is very um, set in a way in which it's supposed to be told, basically. Which I totally get. Oh, I'm going back. I think. Yeah, I'm going backwards, so. I think. I think maybe we should go further up. It looked like there was another stairway. Yep. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until so Mom got him a job at the cannery. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. Everybody in this family dies really young. Damn.
Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... wander. <laughs> oh, this is so weird. We're like playing two games at once. We're like... I asked him to describe it. We're controlling stuff on the web and doing the fish at the same time. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. Things that had not names. He knew it was all in his head. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. A dog? On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Hmm. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. And he made musicians. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. He was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. And one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for men. And he won. <laughs> it's kind of they Mario right there. Stay, but his mind was already wandering. 
it became a game for him. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. St. Louis. St. Louis? He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Oh no. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a beautiful prince. The prince was on his own quest for uh, sinister serpents. We're choosing the story. Sinister servants. <clears throat> this is so awesome. Everything about this game. He followed the sound of his. Uh, can we get to the harp? I want to get to the harp. Okay. Silver harp. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Hmm. Okay. He was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. A god. Someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping sand but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. Hmm. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Ten. Began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Uh oh. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. The wise calico? Is it a cat, perhaps? 
I think we're about to find out. Your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Wow. <clears throat> Crazy. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Hmm. Okay. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Okay. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stay. But I understand why we left. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe you should have come sooner. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now was to tell you about that last night. Oh, we're at Edith now. I think we might be getting towards the end of this game. <clears throat> that whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very <laughs> specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our lives. Oh. not leave. So we're Edith, too. I Edith, didn't catch you're that. you're excused. We're Edith Jr. That's right. Okay. Well, I'm glad I figured that out before this got over. There's another game that I played similar to this. Shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. And like the whole time, I didn't know who we were playing as. When my mom said the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your story. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Oh, okay. damn. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. 
That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. No, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Uh-oh. I got turned around. For a while, I wandered. I started seeing things. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. <clears throat> came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! kicked and screamed, but Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. This game is making After me that, sad. Moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. The rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last inch left alive. Wow. Pregnant though. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. Oh no.
This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. <clears throat> wow. No, oh, and she died really young too. Okay, story by Giant Sparrow for Shirley Dallas. Hmm. Wow. <clears throat> well, I mean, what can I say? Uh, that was really good. It was... made so perfectly. <laughs> like, I have no complaints. At all. It was just a great story. Um, the pacing was good. It wasn't slow. I never got bored. Um, I really liked how there was so much interaction. Like, even though it was telling a story, this whole time we were constantly doing something. We were playing different characters. We were uncovering secrets and stories. And yeah, I just, I, I really love the way how it intertwines the whole discovering of like these secret passageways throughout the house. And while we were doing that, we were also uncovering all these different stories, so it was kind of like finding real-life secret passages and uncovering secret passages of the past, if that makes sense. Um, it was just so well-crafted. I can't imagine what all went into this game. Really. Um, yeah, I don't know how much we should watch of the credits. It might go on for a long time. Um, I oh, I just got a, uh, achievement on Steam for beating this. Wow. So clearly this was made by, um, more than just one or two developers, like, the games that I normally play. Um, a lot of the games that I <laughs> download on Itch.io or even Steam are just made by one or two guys or girls or both, which is cool. But yeah, um, I'm just trying to drag this out to see the credits. That was really great, and I, I loved the Halloween scene. That was so cool. How we were actually playing the comic book character. And clearly, that was a nod to um, Tales from the Crypt, which, if you're my age, 38, 36, no, I'm 36, not 38. Um, yeah, that was a big show when I was growing up. And the movie, too. Um... Alright guys, well I'm probably going to go ahead and end this now because the video is already going to be like two hours almost. So yeah, that was What Remains of Edith Finch, I believe. And it was um, an experience, to say the least. So yeah, um, tune in again soon for another video another game. It will be something um, different, obviously. I've already played uh, many Siren Head games. <laughs> Gonna have to change it up soon. Did we make it to the end? I think we're so close. And <clears throat> I... Yes, we are so close. We're, like, ending now. I think we made it. The end. Yes. It is the end. Okay, guys. Um, I'll see you soon. Uh, if you haven't liked this video, go ahead and like it. 
if you haven't subscribed to me, uh, please do. You'll get updates on the videos that I put out. Um, I'm putting a lot of work into these. Uh, so I really hope somebody likes it, you know? Um, yeah, so have a great weekend, okay? Peace.